Well, you know, how would you like to get a free history lesson? A Philadelphia Museum offers just that, but it's probably not the type of history you're thinking about. Our Victoria Woodle takes you inside the Science History Institute. We live in a world of science, but it's not every day that we stop and think about what that actually means. So to help us is the Science History Institute in Old City. We're excited about asking the questions around, you know, what, what have we accomplished? Um, where are we going next? The Science History Institute is a free museum that blends the history of chemistry, chemical engineering, and the life sciences in a storybook way by telling the compelling stories of innovators and scientific discoveries that have shaped our everyday lives. There's so many aspects that we sort of take for granted because it's so simply put in front of us. Right. And it gets broken down here in a way that is really accessible yeah. and, and really uh, brings the message home. One example is the Bakelite breakthrough. So this is a reproduction of the original piece yeah. of equipment right. that was used to make the earliest of plastics. That's exactly right. It was the first thing that sort of led us on that revolution to using more plastic, you know, for good or for bad. I mean, this right. is this is the, uh, the kind of conversations that coming here spark. But if we go all the way back before the development of plastics, man-made fibers, and colored synthetic dyes that rival the rainbow, some of the earliest practices of science and chemistry looked more like fantasy and fiction as presented in their Age of Alchemy exhibit. When we think about alchemy, what's the first thing that comes into your head? Like a wizard? <laughs> Harry Potter. Yes, yes. Is yes. That what I it's not inaccurate because they very much did believe in magic or in sort of magical thinking and like really, really amazing possibilities, but they're really early chemists. So all the pictures that you see here are really early pictures of laboratories and workshops. So alchemy was really the beginning of it all. Absolutely. This is the path to the periodic table. This is how we get where we are now. You know, they're testing the properties of matter. Why are metals different? How do they behave? What's different about gold versus lead versus iron versus tin versus copper? If they all come out of the same mine, but they're so different, what's yeah. behind that process? It's really a mystery, you know. It does feel like magic, right? Yes. Alchemy didn't end, it transformed. Absolutely. I just took that off the sign there. <laughs> So what's next for the future of science? Well, I guess that depends on the thinkers. You. So come on in and get brainstorming. Victoria Woodall, CBS3 Eyewitness News.